What is happening, everybody? So, it is the morning of Blade Show. We are super excited. We can't wait to get in this room and just go ham on all of these knives. We are so looking forward to seeing all the new stuff and talking to everybody in the knife community. We've already seen some people in line and we are super stoked. It's gonna be a lot of fun, folks. Stay tuned, because you're about to see it right now. Folks, I'm here with the one and only Ben oh, from NAFS. Ben, dude, how are you doing? Thank That's you for so joining good. us. Thanks, TC. Thanks for and, having uh, me, man. Absolutely. So, uh, we just had the launch of uh, your new product line, the Landers, yeah. uh, the exchangeable handles, and the tool burrito, which I've got burrito. mine here, and I'm digging it. I'm loving it. Thank you. Um, and you asked me before we started filming what I liked about it. Yeah. I like its simplicity. Yeah. I like how easy it is to use. Do, should we tell people and what it is? Do they know already? Well, they do, but let's let's go over it and because I want to I want people to see that there's different ways okay. to set this up. So let me see your burrito. This is this is the TC. Mine's very simply burrito. set up. I don't I don't have it fully decked out just yet. But. Yeah, that's all right. So so basically, I wanted to create a tool roll that is portable, keeps all your tools in place. So that's what it looks like when you're carrying it around. So once you once you open it up on the inside here, so it rolls out like this. You got like a tear down mat over here, and then on the corners I stuck magnets. And the reason I did that is when you're disassembling your knives, I wanted somewhere for those those screws to go. So basically, you pull them off your knife, you throw them on the corners because like you have these tear down mats and these silicon mats, they're great. But my challenge with that is like I don't have space for that on the counter permanently. Right. I wanted a space that, like, when I'm done, I can just roll this all up, and it goes with me wherever I'm exactly. going. Exactly. So, like, I have a tendency to kind of, I don't know, I work in messy spaces, whether it's, like, the kitchen counter or, like, wherever. So I wanted to have it all right here, kind of a mobile toolkit, so you can keep your, your strop, you can keep your Torx tools, all that, just sitting right in there, ready to go. Um, so I love the... the the idea of like portable repairability. Yeah. That's kind of where the tool burrito came from. And also like with the lander, it's fast swap scale. So like I yeah. want people to take it apart, but then you end up with all these parts kicking around and you can just kind of throw them on the corners. Exactly. So, yeah. So that's the lander, that's the tool burrito. We got different scale colors coming out for the lander. So we got whites. I'm loving that. We got pinks. We got we got Murica. With that kind oh, of that's tea beautiful. stain, right? Yeah. So, and of course, these are open source as well. They're open source, yep. So, so you can go online, yep. download the dimensions, and 3D print your own if you want. Literally, you can, if you wanted it, so this is, these are from a friend, just some aluminum. These aren't for sale, but he's like, let me make these, show you what we can do. You see and see them. See and see them. And like, yep. literally, you could make these on your own and sell them. You could do whatever the heck you wanted with them. I just wanted it to be open source and available for whoever wanted to do whatever. Well, and you know, I, I gotta say, so I had someone talking to me and they were like, why would they do that? But I was like, no one else has done it. I said, you know, we've got all these other companies that, you know, you have to buy licenses or you have to buy rights to be able to do something like that. What he's done is he's made it open source so that anybody can do it. And I said, I said purely from a business standpoint, look at how many more knives he's going to sell because people can take these and customize them yeah. however they want. Make them personal. So think about like, take an F-150, right? Ford is going to sell a million F-150s or whatever. Well, I don't know the numbers. But how many aftermarket parts for F-150 are there? Well, what if you made those aftermarket parts easy to do and basically opened it up so like somebody's making the rack on the top and somebody's making tailgates that are like customized and like you don't have to think about it is you just opened up an entire market yeah. but you can't have that tailgate feature until you buy the f-150 right and that's kind of my thought process with the lander is like i wanted to make a solid affordable knife get people's toes wet in repairability in customization and uh so that's kind of my my brain yeah. at work or, or lack of a brain i don't know you know it's just like I, I'm thinking about it in terms of a system. You've got yeah. a burrito, you've got a lander, all those different things. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Thank you. <coughs> and now um, we're coming out with the new Big Banter. The Big Banter. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. If you're aware of my knife preferences, I don't like this knife. I designed it. I'm a small knife guy. Like, literally, this is my kind of knife. That's a Baby Banter. I made that, passes the finger test, I'm able to get my finger to the end of the knife. This is a great knife for me, I, I, I love this thing. 
the people are like, man, get bigger. And I'm like, okay. This is America after all. I, I mean, know. <laughs> it's so true. Man. So we came out there with the big banter. It's in the Wii line, 20 CV, three and three quarter inch blade. You got a big fat choil there. So pump, some people have been complaining like, it doesn't give you that much more cutting edge. And they're right. I mean, you line up the cutting edges, you're only getting about a quarter inch more yeah. than the regular banter. But the reality is, is if you got big meat hooks, like, look, I got like medium sized hands. Look at, you got like a full inch and a half oh, on yeah. the end of that thing uh, when you're choked up. So like, this is a knife for guys with big hands or folks with big hands. Like that's kind of what it's designed for. So you got a, the classic banter deep carry clip and then you got, uh, so recessed screws um, into, the, into the handle, ambidextrous to so flip it around either way. And then we lined both sides of it. So it's got liners on both sides. So just kind of a more robust banter. Um, it's on ceramic bearing, so it flips out nice. And then, like, getting real particular here, I asked the people, I'm like, do you want a finger choil and do you want a guard? Right. Um, where it's a bigger, kind of a harder use knife, people were like, we want the guard on there so the finger doesn't slip off. And I'm like, right. well, if you put the guard on, you don't get the sharpening choil. And people were like, what if you did both? And I'm like, well, this is the people's knife. Let's do it. So we ended up with the sharpening <laughs> choil. And, and the finger, the finger choil. choil. Oh, double cool. your choils, double your fun. <laughs> It'll retail and 149 50 147 for the G10. I don't, I don't know. I, there's not many knives out there that have done the finger choil and the sharpening choil. So you see it on fixed blades more than anything. Right. You'll get the fixed blade with the, the finger choil and the sharpening choil. But I, I don't know. It looks wonky. But, again, it's what the people wanted. So yep. we'll give it to them. Absolutely. So that's coming out. And then some fun stuff that we just we're working on that I one too that. that one will come out in november uh baby banter in kind of your uh your 1990s bulls colors i um, love it so i'm i'm from here in utah and uh, there was oh. nothing quite like watching the jazz lose in the 90s to the bulls watching, so you might as well be on the winning team right watching jordan <laughs> do that pull up jumper oh yeah like, right as the time expired like that is like the saddest part of my childhood. John Stockton was, looking so defeated. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like we, we needed that. We wanted that. Anyway, <laughs> I just figured like look, let's lean into that color scheme kind of that Air Jordan. I love it. Bulls feeling. Uh, it's a, it's an ivory um, G10, and man, it it collects dirt, but people like the white. You can use your uh, your sneaker treatment on it to <laughs> get it clean again, but whatever. So Absolutely. That one's coming out too. We're having fun, man. It's uh, like we're just doing stuff that like makes us happy and like I mean, we got these lander scales with like happy tree patterns. Yes. Like I, I just feel like I'm not a tactical operator. I'm just not. Like, right. Let's have some fun. Let's put some space kitties on it. Like let's do it fun. So. Exactly. Well, and it's like I said, uh, you know, to our viewers, I said, you know, he's coming up with. There's needs in the knife community, and he's coming up with simple, simple, functional, and affordable ways to fill those needs. And I said, that's that's what you call innovation, and, and that's I what I love. That's I try, I and love. it's I, I think of like so like this kaleidoscope of ideas. I think you and I have talked about this before, but like there's no such thing as a new idea. It's just you're you're molding things and you're looking at it differently every time you turn a kaleidoscope. It's the same pieces and parts in there, right? But what what makes it different is how you turn them around. And that's that's kind of how I like to look at knives and look at the industry and say like, there's there's pouches out there. Like, I'm not the first guy to come up with a rolling pouch. But what if you put magnets in it? What if you did this? You know, what if you got it to a price point that worked? So right. that's kind of how my brain works is just take what exists and then kind of play with it and poke at it. So, I love it. Ben, yeah. thank you so much, brother. Thank Absolutely. you, Absolutely. Appreciate you. And uh, we will see and talk to you very soon. Awesome. You've got some more new stuff coming that uh, oh, I know we can't I talk gave, about. I gave you a sneak so. peek. I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Thanks for having me on. And thank Absolutely. you guys for watching. Appreciate it. What is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. I'm here with Dave with ProTech. Dave, hey, thank man. you so much for joining us. Great to see Appreciate you. It. Absolutely. So i got to tell you. I don't think we have any other brand that sells quite as quickly as ProTech does. I love, say, it as again, we, say it again. As soon as we get them in, they're gone, just I love like it. that. And um, I mean, it doesn't matter what price point they're coming in at, um, you know, how you know entry level or high end they are. 
they're incredibly popular. Uh, what do you guys attribute that to? You know, we're uh, really building a unique range of product, uh, button lock flippers, autos, it's all USA construction, lifetime guarantee, and uh, we, we really appreciate that folks understand what we're doing as far as a unique mix of product, and the response has just been incredible. Uh, the support and love from the customers is over the top, and it uh, means the world to us. Absolutely, and I tell you what, your fit and finish, your attention to detail, you can feel the quality in your hand when, you, you. when you hold it. And uh, I mean, you guys look at, even down to the buttons that you guys use. Yep. I mean, the, the mosaic patterns that you use in something like this one here. Oh, you bet. Um, and uh, the Damascus one over there, same thing or even the mother of pearl ones that you guys use. I mean, people don't understand, I don't think, what that takes to get like to get that kind of detail and to oh, be yeah. that specific. And that's one thing that people really appreciate appreciate about your product. Well, even a show like this uh, Blade Show West, everything that we brought to the show is non-standard. There right. isn't one regular model here. Everything's either sapphire blue, titanium, bronze, inlaid buttons. And so, you know, as a smaller factory, we really do focus on building more like a custom shop, and uh, customers love it. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, might we expect to see hitting our shelves soon? From so you guys? Uh, definitely get you guys some of this unique micarta. That's the GL Hansen and Sons. Uh, you'll start to see some more Malibus flow through. Um, a bunch of cool stuff, honestly. Sapphire blue coated blades. Yes. Um, oh yeah. Absolutely. And then a, a new prototype reveal. I'll show you our PT Strider we're revamping. It's a model that we've had out of circulation for a bit. And we added about 10% to the size and a little bit to the thickness so that we could use our larger button and spring profile. So it's still a nice compact strider, but with a nice Protec snap, um, a little bit bigger, super stable button configuration. So PT striders, you'll see them probably January, full production. Oh, and the new production is also going to be in Magna Cut. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, we are so looking forward to it. Dave, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for the support. We appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. Folks, stay tuned for more from right here at Blade Show West. Thank you. we got Craig here from Top Snipes. Craig, thank you for joining us, man. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Now, you were just telling me a few minutes ago, you guys have got some new stuff that you're really excited about. And yeah. I tell you what, after looking at it, I'm really excited about this stuff. Yeah. Um, and you've got a couple here that we're going to talk about that's unreleased. We've got one that has uh, just come out just come recently. Out. Yep. So yep. let's go over that stuff and uh, talk about where you guys are headed. Okay, awesome. So let's start with the ones that are not released yet. This is one that has been a long time coming, but we're very, very close. It's called the Woodcraft. It's actually a marbles design. Marbles being probably one of the oldest knife companies out there. Um, they approached us and said, hey, we want you to make this knife. And in our heads, we're like, man, we don't really do bolsters. We don't really do the stacked leather handles. It's just not, it's not our thing. And they're like, oh, no, no, we know that. We want you to make it like a top snipe. And so Leo looking at it, he's like, okay, I got it. And so we ended up doing this kind of like inlaid piece of black micarta with a tan micarta. And uh, so it kind of gives it like a faux bolster. Right. But we kept the same shape. We kept the same design. The design is perfect how it is. Um, and we, we finally have started getting the sheath prototype finished up. This is technically still a prototype for the sheath, but basically what we're going to go with. We, uh, we're using, so Hedgehog Leatherworks gave us permission to use their, their patented sheath opening system. We're going to adjust that a little bit um, on the final product so that as soon as you unsnap that, it pops open. You don't cut your strap, which is like the main problem oh, that yeah. these straps cause. But we wanted that kind of old school, uh, you know, like cowboy looking leather yeah. sheath for this. It's classic. Um, so it just, it came out great. Uh, we're hoping we'll have it out before the end of the year. Nice, and that's in, uh, is that in 1095? 1095, and it's got, uh, it's got a new color that we're using. It's called Midnight Bronze. I love it's, that uh, color. It's a Cerakote, and it looks, it looks really slick. I, I like that a lot. That is insane. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Well, uh, I can tell you, if during this show that one goes missing, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I'm the one that come, took it. I'll come track you down. Yeah, it, it'll be me that has it, I promise. We'll come, we'll come find you. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. All right. So, next up. We're getting back to kind of back to the roots. That is tops. decidedly tops. That yeah. is, I mean, right. you, you can look at that. Uh, if it had no branding on it whatsoever, and you're like, that's a tops knife. 100 percent Yes. So this actually is the the Steel Eagle 105 
this is the D as in Delta. So for us, um, the, the first knife tops ever made was a Steel Eagle 107 D, so a seven inch blade. We've been making a 105 for a while, but it's not quite, it's not quite what Leo wanted. So at SHOT Show this year, we debuted these. There's, uh, we have the Tanto Point and we have the Hunter Point with and without Sati. So all we did on this was shrink it two inches. Same size handle, same width, same thickness, everything else in the same. And they're just little, you know, they're just little five inch tanks. And I mean, basically what you can out. look at how thick that blade stock is. Let's oh, yeah. get a shot of how yeah. thick that blade is. Like that's, that's a beast right there. Yeah. And I mean, that's gonna be a great, like, I don't wanna put it in any kind of category, but a, a military knife, like something that's gonna go on a plate carrier or something like that, oh, yeah. um, tack vest. That's gonna be a perfect addition to anybody's loadout. I mean, yeah. it's gonna do get any job that you want to done on it. And again, 1095, Cerakote. Yep. Um, this, one's, this one's actually powder coated. Okay. The, the main difference is the powder coat's a little thicker. It's a little stronger. Nice. It's not quite as slick as Sarah. Right. That's the only. Right. That's the. That's the trade-off. That's. So, that is yeah. beautiful. These and are, of course, got to have the blood groove in there too. Of so. course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, we have. Like I say, we're going back to the roots. This is as. This is as close to the 107 D, like the original, as we're gonna make. So. Nice. And price point. What's that one gonna come in at? Uh, I do not know yet. Okay. I, I don't want to guess. What about the Marbles uh, remake? What that about one? I think we're in the mean? two. 50 to 260 for like full retail price. Okay. Awesome. Um, awesome. Give or take 20 bucks. Heck yeah. Yeah. And we've got one here that just recently come out. We're anxious to get this one on our shelves very, very soon. And this is a great set and a great setup here. Let's talk about this. Yes. So this is our Muley kit. Basically, um, so there's a lot of kits out there. There's a lot of hunting kits out there in particular that have like a knife and a gut hook and a, a bone saw, maybe like a caper. There's, there's, you know, there's a lot of options out there. Leo, for the most part, is like, you know what? All I need is a knife. So the Muley Skinner. And every now and then you need like a bone saw and maybe a gut hook. And so the, the first tool we did in this was kind of a general skinning knife. I'll let you hold that one. And the uh, second tool in this set is a bone saw gut hook combo. We didn't want to make it into one tool because you kind of once you put the saw teeth and the and the gut hook on that piece, it just it's just too much. And so we made it in two pieces, but we made an option to carry it as one with a with a double dangler single layer sheath. That so, is beautiful. So the leather work is gorgeous, anyways. Yeah, and that's yeah. I mean, you guys are known for that. Any of your leather stuff is always. Phenomenally done, and the ergonomics on the handles of these is incredible. And of course, these are coming in at one with 154 cm, so yes. it's going to lend itself better for that game processing kind of aspect. Yeah, especially for guys who are like who aren't near their campsite, for example. Right. You know, like not everybody's carrying around water so they can like clean their knife off before they put it back in their sheet. Right. And so you know, some that's one of the main drawbacks with 1095 yeah. or hunters is like, hey. If I'm way out there and I gotta, I gotta try to keep this thing clean so it doesn't rust. Like that's tough. Absolutely. So that's why we specifically wanted this to be stainless. Is we thought most guys carrying this are not gonna be like around their campfire taking care of something. They're gonna be packing it out in pieces. Yeah. That's phenomenal, Craig. Yeah. That looks great. Thank you so much hey, for joining us. Absolutely. Appreciate it. We're excited to get all of these in our store because we know, just like all of our other tops, they're gonna sell really well. So. Folks, stay tuned for more from right here. I've got Francesca here Hi. from Spider Coat. Now, you're going to be actually at our store here very soon. I am going to be at the store, so make sure to come out. I believe yep. it is. Vendor Rep Weekend. That's going to be the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. We're calling it Fall um, Fest. Yeah, Fall Festival. This year. Yeah. We've yeah. always called it Rep Weekend. That's what you folks know it as, but it's Fall Festival now. Um, we're changing the name of it getting all hip and stuff. So, uh, speaking cool. of hip, we've got a new <laughs> exclusive coming out in just a few days. So, what, what were you calling that? What, what's that? <laughs> I was calling it Swamp Thing, but its actual name is Jungle Wear. I actually don't hate Swamp Thing. I, I like, like it. It's going to be, I think this is their fifth yeah. exclusive with us in this lineup with the Fat Carbon. We've had a um, lot of people that have been waiting on this knife to come out. And, oh, good. Uh, we're super excited. Yeah, CPMM4. It's just uh, an awesome knife. 
And I mean, of course, it's everything that you've come to know and love. Yeah, it's got the pair of two, all the same features that you love about that one. It's got the compression lock, four-way pocket clip, and that's that's what I love about Spyderco. So you guys are really the only ones that do a four-way pocket clip for right. true customizing right. of how you want to carry it. For as many knives as we can do it. Yeah, yep, for as many as we can. Yeah. So, and that's why I, I will say this: my wife loves your stuff because Good. she's very particular about her knives and trying to find a knife that she will actually carry and that she actually likes sure. is a nightmare. Sure. Um, and it's she's hard like, with tiny, tiny pants pockets. Because as women's well. pockets are not like yep. you guys don't have pockets. It's not yep. fair. It's not. It's not nice <laughs> what the world has done to you. It's and not I, kind. It's not I'm kind at sorry all. Sorry for that oppression. They and, think that we only want to carry chapstick. Not right. true. Not true. You want to carry knives, right? Always. <laughs> what have you got on you? <laughs> I, have, I have my teal Warncliffe Delica 4. I am a, a, That's a classic in love right with there. A, yep, in love with a Warncliffe shaped blade. So. And you always carry a teal knife. Every I do. every time I've ever seen you, you've been carrying a teal knife since the first time I met you. Yep, so, I do. Yeah. You know, you have to collect. So if you guys want to collect, this you is a great. Great option to collect. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Yep, nice exclusives. Yep, you can only get them at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Heck yeah. So do you guys have anything else new that you're coming out with? Anything that's really exciting or anything that you guys are looking forward to specifically? So we do have some new products coming out. So we have a Warncliffe shaped uh, Little Native. Yeah. I'm very excited about. A little native is just a great knife, especially for ladies' pockets. Right. Um, unfortunately. So you're going to be coming out with a worn clip version. Yeah, we're going to have a worn clip shaped blade on it. I think at this point it's just going to be a satin, satin blade, but it's going to look like that. Nice. Super pumped. Yep. Yeah. You've got a two-way um, deep pocket carry clip. So wide clip. That is awesome. Yeah. I know that's something that a lot of people are going to look for because a lot of people really like that Warncliffe blade because it's right. a good work knife blade. Right, absolutely. Um, like if you're like cutting carpet or something like that or even cutting cardboard, it doesn't matter what it is. I've cut cake. We were at a birthday party and there was no, like no one had a knife. So we <laughs> I, had wow. my, I had this one. It's got icing in it. That is awesome. There's actually icing still in there. <laughs> I do clean my knife. I just haven't yet. <laughs> That's people fantastic. who carry knives like somebody asked us. Somebody oh yeah. Us. Like, and oh. it's like this is the moment I've been waiting for all my life. <laughs> yes. Francesca, you're awesome. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to seeing you at Fall Festival. I can't wait. We'll do another interview then. We'll make you get on video again. So okay. absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, folks. Stay tuned for more from right here, Blade. Y'all have fun. I'm here with Stu from Reef Knives. Stu, thank you so much for joining us again, man. DC, it's an honor to have you in the booth. Absolutely, booster, absolutely. So we are super excited. We got your knives in stock in our store, and um, they're doing really well, and we're really excited. So we talked to you about our uh, torture testing, our Will It Cut series. Yes, sir. And uh, you put up this F6 to be torture tested. Now, let's talk about this knife, talk about its features, and uh, why do you think that's going to be a good candidate for that? Yeah, absolutely. So the F6 is designed, the full name is the F6 Lake Goose Survival Knife, and it was designed to be kind of an all-around, hard-use uh, camp and field knife. So we have 3 16th, 3 16th inch CPM 3D stock, hardened to 5860 Rockwell, so keeps great toughness, has incredible edge retention, um, and I think those the, co the combination of those two things is going to make it a great performer yeah. in your crazy torture test. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces. Now, uh, we did over here you telling um, some other folks about your warranty. Yes, Let's sir. talk about that and how you guys stand behind your product. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, from the very beginning, you know, we really wanted Reef Knives to be A, about American made, and B, about treating our customers the way that we would want to be treated. You know, it's kind of that golden rule. So our lifetime warranty is basically, if, if you break the knife, we're going to replace it. But we take it a step further and we say that if you lose your knife or if it gets stolen, we will actually replace the knife if we have a police report. Wow. So. That's amazing. That's, I mean, that's, 
the only way that I know of that you can actually ensure that you're never going to be without a knife. You know, we're a family business, and we want we want everybody who invests in a reef knife to know that they're part of our family because it's so it's so important to us. I mean, we can't we can't do this without without our customers, without the people who support our brand. So we want to we want to return that loyalty to our customers in every way we can. So. And we're talking USA made across the board here. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, that's phenomenal uh, that you, you guys can do that. And you're talking so. All of these knives come with the option of either kydex leather, leather or kydex sheath. So whichever one you prefer. Yes, sir. Um, and the four and the six come with the uh, ferro rod attachment they there. They do, yep. Um, I mean, that's also phenomenal versatility because a lot of people really like the drop leg sheath. Mm -hmm. A lot of people also like the, uh, the tactical ability when it comes to a kydex sheath um, and being able to put it on molly or put it on a belt or... The, the advantage that that brings also. Yeah. So you've got a lot of different uh, versatility there. And uh, I don't think you can find that everywhere you look in the knife community. That's that's one thing that we love about your product here, so. Yeah, you know, when we, part of the idea behind Reef Knives is to be able to give people some more options because I, you know, I'm a knife guy. I mean, that's how I got started into this. I'm just, I'm obsessed with knives, you know. <laughs> I think you have to be to, risk everything to start a knife company but right. <laughs> um, it's just like you know I know that and and you know that leather versus kydex that's a decisive divisive thing yeah. right like most people it's like I want kydex or I want leather I'm personally a kydex guy just because I like no maintenance like it's not gonna like hold moisture and kind of screw up your knife but right i know that not everybody feels that way you know people love leather and so yep. we want to be able to bring options to people so that they can have the knife they want rather than the knife that i want exactly know? exactly you know that there's chocolate and vanilla out there and everybody likes something different there you and go we perfect, got to cater to all of them example chocolate and vanilla absolutely folks thank you so much check out reef knives and stay tuned for that torture test of that f6 we're really looking forward to it Stu. Thank you again, man. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, TC. Appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm hanging out here with Christy with Brighton Blades. Nice Christy, to be. thank you so much. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Now, you guys have really done an incredible job and you kind of, I don't know, I got to say for us anyways, come out of nowhere and just like taking everybody by storm. And um, I mean, this stuff has been insanely popular on our website and in our store. Where did the idea come from? So my mom has been in the knife industry for about 25 years, working with some of the big name brands, Fox and Browning and different names. And she has three daughters, so she's always wanted to do something for girls, right? No sons. So um, she came out with this idea of making a knife for women specifically. And then 2020 hit and all the craziness. And it was just rough for everyone. So she, want, she had this idea of doing something inspirational. So our original liner are inspirational knives, and they have different things like brave and hope and laugh, resilience, happy, peace, dream. And so, and they each have a different cute quote that goes with it. But we just want to bring a little bit of inspiration, but not only that, have a useful tool that people can use. Right, absolutely. And you know, you guys have got a couple of different sizes, and uh, of course we've got the uh, what, what are you calling this series here? So this series is our not so heavy, not so metal, heavy metal line. Yeah, they have fun names like Purple Rain. We've got Green Day. We've got that. Gold Digger, Pink Floyd, oh Black gosh. Sabbath. That is so, fantastic. Yeah. Now, and so I was talking. I can't remember who we were talking with earlier today, but um, we were talking about how the pants industry has not been so kind to women. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because they don't think you guys use pockets. Right. They don't think you all need pockets apparently. Mm -hmm. Um, but your products are geared so that you don't have to use pockets. You don't have to have pockets. Exactly, exactly. So most of the things that you need a knife for can actually be done with a keychain, which is really nice because everyone carries their keys on them. You have Absolutely. your keys wherever you go. We have these nice carabiner clips. Um, easy on and easy off access so you don't have to sit and twist it, break your That's fingernails. Awesome. And then if you do want the bigger knife, they come in these nice pouches. Um, both the inspirational line and the not so heavy metal have a pouch. You can throw them in a backpack or a purse or like a glove compartment. So they're perfect to take wherever you go, either the big size or the keychain. That's phenomenal. That is incredible. Now, where are you guys based out of? 
We're based out of Utah, actually. That's so awesome. we're home. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So do you guys have anything uh, new coming out that you can hint at or tease? <laughs> We do have a few new things coming out. So next month, actually, we have these. Um, this is our Brighton um, Fox Baby Core um, collaboration. So Baby Core Knife from Fox Italy is coming out in these three fun new colors. We've got the pink, nice. purple, and green. So those should be out in November. And then we also have some Karambits that we just barely got. And they're entered right now, unfortunately. Otherwise, oh, I'd show you, actually. Well. Gotcha. Yeah, we could pull one out of here. Do you want me to? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, here's a little sneak peek if I can open a box. Um, and oh, we just barely, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. My hands are shaking now. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I love the so, logo on there, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. We actually even have new knife and patches. I got to show you our new patch, yes. though. These are cuter. I and I these. love the teal. I think that's awesome. That is awesome. So with the bright and fox. I just haven't switched up. We just barely got these in um, for the show. So these are our oh. karambits. They've got the, like I said, the fox and the bright and. That is wicked. And we are so excited for these. That's really cool. So, I don't have so, to hold it. Absolutely. It's made out of carbon fiber, so it's super light. Oh my god. It's got gosh. an Elmac still. <laughs> So they're really great. That's phenomenal. Yeah. So when can we expect to see these? We just barely got them. So <laughs> we got them. So, yeah, as soon as you get them on. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Christy, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks. You guys' stuff is awesome. And I love, we were just talking with Ben over there about filling needs in the knife community. And you guys are another one of those brands that is filling a huge need and a huge hole in the knife community. And I know everyone's appreciative. Yeah. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. What's happening, everybody? So I'm here at the Fox booth checking out some new stuff that we've got coming out from Fox Knives right here. Really excited to see these. Now, these look um, like some stuff that you might have seen before, but we've got the puck right here. And that thing absolutely flies out. This one's coming in with D2 on the blade steel. You've got the anodized backspacer. You've got the green G10 on the handles. We've got several different colors of that one. Also got it in the red. That one didn't flick out as well. I didn't do so good on that one. Look at that. That thing is amazing. D2 on the blade steel, nice and compact. I really love that design. We've also got the knobs right here, and that one is gorgeous. This one's coming in. Got the titanium hardware that's been anodized. It's got the marble carbon fiber on it. Um, this one's coming in with the Damascus blade. This one's coming in with the anodized handles, and it's got the B cut right there on the blade steel. That is absolutely gorgeous. Coming in with that front flipper, and look at that thing. It's so unobtrusive, so small, but it works so well. A really cool, innovative design right here is going to be this reverse karambit. Yes, that is the sharpened edge right there. Yes, it closes into the back side there. So when you open this one up, it's going to cut on pull cuts there. Same as when you have it in a defensive position right there. That's a really cool little design. N690 on the blade steel right there. And then this one right here, I absolutely love. This one's called the Core. This one's going to be coming out very soon. LMAX on the blade steel right there. And I can't say enough how much I love knives with a flipper and a thumb hole opening. They're just so easy to use and so much fun to fidget with. You can reverse flick it, you can roll it out with your thumb, or you can use that flipper on the back side right there. Carbon fiber on the handles, uh, got the anodized backspacer right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Folks, stay tuned for more from right here at Fox and from us here at Blade Show West. What is happening, everybody? Folks, we just wrapped up our first day here at Blade Show West in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we are super excited. We talked to a lot of people. We got to talk with Stu, with Reef Knives. We got to talk with Seth, with We and Civivi. We got to talk to Brighton Blades. We got to talk to Ben with NAFs. So many others that I can't get to right now, but we had a lot of fun today, and it's not over. We've got more coming at you for tomorrow. Folks, we hope you really enjoyed this day and stay tuned for more from SMKW and Blake Joe West.